Are you confident that the 2024 elections will be fair, not fraudulent, that a, that a candidate such as yourself would be allowed to win? Are you confident there would be no electoral meddling? Can you safely say that were you to gain sufficient votes, you would be the candidate that ascends on the dawn of this new revolutionary era that you describe? Or do you imagine that these institutions and machines would do whatever's in their power? And we know what's being discussed at the moment. You know what would be subjudicial even to discuss in the case of Donald Trump, that perhaps what he claims is correct. I'm certainly not making Allegedly. That, that claim because I like to protect myself legally at all times where possible. So do you believe that if elected, you would be uh, that you that the uh, the votes would be counted and that justice would be issued, electoral justice at least? No. Do I have confidence? The answer is no. But that is why this answer also is important. We have to deliver a landslide election. This cannot be a 50.1 margin. It's probably the most important reason it has to be me and not Trump as the nominee. Because Donald Trump, I, I actually do believe, unlike many Republicans, I believe he can beat Joe Biden. I think most Republicans in this race can beat Joe Biden. I think if I'm the nominee, they won't let Biden run. They will put up some other puppet. But whichever puppet they put up, I think I'm the only candidate in this race that can actually deliver a landslide election, a Reagan 1980s style landslide. And that's what it's going to take. A 50.1 election where the following Monday after the Tuesday when votes are cast, when they've MSNBC trots out who the likely election winner is. No, this can't work that way. That's the stuff of national divorce. We do not want to get there. This has to be a moral mandate, a landslide election. That is what I am in a position to deliver. And we already have the facts. I'm not making this up, right? I had no political donors. I had no donor lists. I was at 0.0% in March. The threshold for making the Republican debate stage with which others like Vice President Pence just barely skirted past was 40,000 unique donors. We have over 70,000 already, but 40,000 of them are first time, excuse me, 40% of them is about 40, you know, 40% of the donors I have are first time ever, ever in their life history, donors to the Republican Party. Normally, that number is 2% for normal Republican. For me, it's 40%. So what does that say? We're already bringing people along, especially young people who would have never thought of themselves voting for a Republican because my ideas aren't really Republican ideas. They're pro-American ideas. I think most people in the Republican Party act like a bunch of partisan hacks. I often say, stop criticizing Joe Biden. It's boring. We have to offer an affirmative vision of our own. That's why the Republicans did so poorly in the 2022 election is it was all about criticizing the radical Biden agenda. Nobody wants to hear that. That's not inspiring. It doesn't mean anything, especially to young people. We have to say, this is what we're running to. This is what we actually stand for. Republicans haven't done that in a long time. And by the way, it also misses the plot because Joe Biden isn't running the country. Neither is Kamala Harris. They're puppets. It is the managerial class in the deep state that's actually running the show. And so we have to explain to the public why you can't just reform that deep state. We have to shut it down. How shutting it down will revive the economy, will make your life better, put more dollars in your pocket, more importantly, restore accountability in government, restore a three branch constitutional republic that we fought a revolution for, that our founding fathers fought for. Explain that and we win this election in a landslide. It's not about Republicans and Democrats and about the radical Biden agenda. That's so boring. It's super lame. And that's exactly the way Republicans talk and behave. And so I think it's going to have to take an outsider. And you brought up the Democrat establishment, the media establishment, the big pharma and the corruption establishment. There's the Republican establishment, too. You were almost too charitable in leaving them out on your list. But do I believe that every part of that establishment is going to let me through and roll out a red carpet for me? No. They're going to try to build the wall to keep me out. They already are. But I think it's going to take we the people get to decide who runs this country. We live in a moment where that has to be decided by a landslide margin. And I'm the only candidate by far who has even a chance at delivering it.